Uh, we kept maintain the curriculum timing that we needed to maintain. Um, so it was a really nice process. So I think this year will be even better now that they see that we're working the kinks out as we go. Um, one of the things that I have realized that there is a big difference along with this process, it, it is important that we have a separate team that focus on one area, but we always gotta have a team that's constantly ready to provide services at the clinics at all times. And fortunately, we've been able to execute that and we will continue to, that, to do that. So I'm excited. With the immunization process, uh, we were inspected last week. Uh, the state office came down and to check to see how we were doing with maintaining the vaccine and we got a score of 100. So that's a good thing. From a check off list of two pages to a check off list of 13 pages. So we were perfect. That's interesting. But <laughs> we, we strive for that, even though we know. <laughs> that's right, that's right. But Vince Lombardi said, you know, you shoot for that. Um, we are preparing for the pre K roundup, and you know, with the head start. We've been advertising along in the midst of all this inspection. They're coming in and getting that done. So we're not closing down at lunchtime. We have staggered our lunches so that we can keep the clinics open at lunchtime. And because a lot of times people get off at their lunch break to get what they need done. Um, so that's been working really well. And we keep two people in the clinic to keep it flowing quickly. Um, one of the things that I, I, I have noticed along with the midst of this, we've been receiving a lot of requests for doing health fairs. Um, starting in about February, we're accommodating those services. We average about two a month. Um, the biggest health fair that's coming up, which is Public Health Awareness Day, that's in June, along with Kids Safety, that's in June. Um, and they're both gonna be one at the city center out here um, off of um, West Hill, and the other one is on Mathis Auditorium, which is the Kids Safety one. Um, we're participating in that. Um, so we're meeting those requests. When I came aboard, we had three nurses that were in the midst of their process of getting their protocols. So they really weren't up to speed to provide full services. So our numbers would be would not be as high as they could be. All three nurses are protocol out. So we're ready to go full speed this upcoming physical year. Um, so I have my retired nurses that are coming in um, as my senior nurses and which I always call them my old heads that come in here and do what they need to do but I level them off a little bit to be like my people who come in and supplement services when we have people that are out so I try to use my retired staff along in conjunction with that we had a little friendly competition that staff created on their own the front desk versus the vital records department and as you all know and you see in the numbers vital records are heavy hitters as we call them and um, they get a lot of services. And how do we compete? Well, the competition was positive morale, which kept the staff really moving really hard. But one day, um, the staff just decided to say, well, let's see how hard we can work against each other and get our patients out and do what we need to do with your quality services. Well, actually, front desk one. Front desk is the services, direct services, that was um, providing care to our clients. And the vital records is the birth certificates and the death certificates go well, front desk one. So it was really excitement. And now I told Dr. Girl, don't call us on Friday because we were tired. We were licking our wounds from the whipping that we received. But they did really good. I was proud of the staff. The morale is really high right now. Um, we try to do positive reinforcements. We do lessons learned on the things that we, that we feel like we need to tweak areas of improvement. Right now, we're just at a low of making sure that we provide quality but efficient services and also maintain, monitor our timeliness to ensure that the staff get, or the patients get the services that they need in a timely manner. Um, again, as always, the staff is appreciative of the recommendations that you provide for us. Also, the staff is appreciative of allowing them to do the services that they do, and thank you.